visitors several times a week in Dublin and they always say yeah <laughs> and I said, well, what are they then? And say, I don't know. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> but I, I mean, you could say fish and tackle, I suppose. But uh, and they are fish and tackle. But the jigs and the reels are the dances, um, and the music that would be played for those dances would also be a jig or a reel. So it's both a piece of music and a dance. Um, and it's they're not the only dances. There's a lot far m more dances. And I ask people, well, what's the difference between a jig and a reel? And I often get the answer, well, a reel is when people dance in a group and a jig, because, you know, everyone knows to dance a jig, to, to dance the proverbial jig, I suppose. But uh, actually, you know, and actually in Irish dancing, you rarely see a jig dance. Uh, and a jig and a reel, they're just different rhythms, that's it. Many of you will know that, but a lot of people don't know that. And they're literally just different rhythms. And reels are in the same, and, and, and there's a lot more rhythm. So jigs, reels... In Dublin, say, if we're playing in a session, 70% of the time we're probably playing reels and then th the other percentage jigs and something else. But in Dublin, if they're dancing, uh, they will be dancing reels 99% of the time, you know? She danced what is called a set dance. And a set dance is a dance that can only be danced to that set piece of music that I played. It couldn't be danced to any other piece of music. So it's quite a different, um, and she, she's just starting dancing. And so that's one of the first dances you learn. It's a competition, you would dance it in competition um, and be adjudicated on different aspects of, you know, the turnout of the feet and, uh, and your eye makeup and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it, it, you know, so that was another rhythm altogether. Um, and very specific uh, to that piece of music. But, you know, they could be dancing in, you know, there's different kinds of dancing and the dancing that, that the jigs and reels are played for is called step dancing. And step dancing is what river dance is. But you've also then got Kaylee dancing and you've got set dancing, which is not the same as the set dance that I just <laughs> talked about. Set dancing is like your your um, your figure dancing in uh, you know groups, but not a Kaylee. So it's Mick yeah. went into all that yesterday. So it's a, you know it's all quite uh, the set dancing comes from the quadrille, but the Kaylee dancing is the La Kayla together. It's that kind of Titanic style dancing. When and there's the a woman singing. from Limerick, Bani Tuma, in 1893. She decided. That uh, that she would invent, she basically invented it, and she took existing the Kaylee dancing. Kaylee dancing. She okay. took existing rhythms and uh, existing figures that were not influenced by England, and then what they did was they published them a little later in a handbook. It's called the Handbook of Irish Dances. You can get it on Google by O'Keefe, and when you do that, nothing changes after that. It stays the same forever. Mm. And they're very simple. If you don't write, write things down, they keep changing. Yeah. That's what folklorists mm. kind yeah. of specialise in, is, is uh, the change of oral transmission or oral, that it keeps changing. But if you write it down, then it's stuck forever. <laughs> like Brahms is going to be the same forever. Yes. Mozart will be the same forever. Mm. Uh, but a tune that we play will not be the same forever. It keeps changing. Like last night, it was really interesting, uh, me singing with Desi Mulcair. We learned the same song at the same time. And now our words are all different. You know I mean? Yeah, it just, it's just that they, just they you know, uh, we unconsciously you change a word here and there. I was, I was fascinated, and I was, I was singing the wrong word, and then he was singing my wrong. I mean, we were both right. Yeah. We were both wrong too, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it just changes a lot like that. So with the jig, so just a quick explanation: the reels are in the same rhythm as most pop and rock music, it's common time, 4-4. Four, four. Mm. four crotchet beats in the bar. Those of you who understand, one, understand two, it. Those of you who are on holidays are bored. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it, you know, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I remember it sometimes, uh, you say little rhymes like, uh, black and decker, black and decker, or gin and tonic, gin and tonic, whatever you want to say. And then the, the, the r jigs, I suppose, are like a supercharged waltz. The notes are in groups of three, but it's much faster. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, it's six, eight time. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you can remember, it works. Butterfly, 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 butterfly. Works in every language. Who die, who die, summer food, summer food in Danish. Works in all the languages yeah. except Italian. But the, 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 <laughs> the whole thing, to me, the most, the biggest thing that Irish music is about, with the, whether it's four, four, or six, eight, or any of the other rhythms, they're the two biggest rhythms, is the tiny variations. So, you know, the session, the session that we're, that, you know, I played in a session last night down the town, and the session 
is is what Irish music is all about. And you'll play the reels and you'll play the jigs. But, w you know, people that don't know what a session is sometimes think it's like jazz, that we're jamming. But we're not. Like Mick said, it's specific pieces of music. You either know them or you don't know them and you never learn, you never finish learning them. And within the, the our jamming happens within a smaller space of time. And I'd like to demonstrate that if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah, is that all right? Um, because I'll play you a 4-4 four -four piece of music that I would have learned when I was about 10. And I'll play it the way it's written on the page the first time round. And then show, so it's each individual would put different decoration on it. And each individual would put different decoration on it themselves a different time, tomorrow or the next day. So it's never the same. But if somebody sitting beside me is putting their individual decoration on it, it will work with mine. It's, it's you know, it's not, it's not just, doesn't have to be. So this one's rolling in the ryegrass and it's just. That's the first part, boring, right? So that's the second part. But if you went into that, then it would be like. And you'd play that maybe six or seven times in the session and play it different every time. So that's now there's two of us here, so why don't we play it together? Yeah. Or we'll be playing it differently. In, in what time is this? That's, that's four, four. 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 It's yeah. one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now two, three, I'm playing four. this and it's different. When I hit the note, it starts to decay right away. But I also have all these chords I can go. And uh, so when I play this, uh, with Brenda, it will not only be slightly out of tune, but it'll be. And that's, uh, all the fiddlers I learned from were always slightly out of tune. So, so we'll play it together, and we'll play it nearly the same, but not the same. And that's the session, that's kind of a conversation. Um, and to me, like that is actually <coughs> everything that Irish tune playing is about. If you see people, if you see people in the sessions, or you see us, or the or the Mulcahys, we're not smiling when we're playing, and that's because we're thinking about those variations all the time. And if you see an Irish show, and the the, the musician is throwing the hair around <laughs> and smiling like this, bullshit. <laughs> 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 so that, because that is essentially the absolute everything that Irish music is about. It's those variations, and you would sit and hope that the, the more practice you do on the tune, the more comfortable you are with the tune, the more of those variations will come. And to me, that's like the, that's the, the 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 heart of it all, really. So, so what's the it. difference between a reel and a hornpipe? That's a, a hornpipe is slower with a bit more kind of a, 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 a jauntiness, I, I, but they are both 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, right, that's right. Both yeah, four, yeah. Four, but yeah. A bit slower and a bit more jaunty. There's a, a different emphasis, yeah, like you know, slight like different emphasis. Yeah, and they're all different in different instruments. Uh, this one here now, for instance, you know Bill Hart's jig? This is one of the first jigs I ever learned, and it goes... you play a pick instrument it's what back and back and back and forth when you do it like that that's the way it's written down now if you start playing it Irish style you have two downs to every up so you 
the wor oh, I taught mandolin for years, and, and the hardest people to teach were brilliant bluegrass players because they had to change their whole thinking. They nearly had nervous breakdowns. <laughs> and I couldn't play like them and they couldn't play like me, but I was doing the teaching. So, so uh, the first thing you do is that uh, this is called a triplet. Instead of, instead of going, you go. Now that's a downward triplet, a spitting triplet, and up. You do these, uh, and that's one of the first things. Then there's double stops, the chords, Brenda does them all the time. And then you hit all the notes together. And with this pick, you can do all of that. So I'd be playing the same tune as a, uh, a piper. It'll come out differently, concertina will come out. And then the blend of them together creates the texture. And, and we have so many instruments, the textures are always different all the time. And you could listen to this tune, Brendan said, you could, you could listen to it forever and play it, it'll always be different. Um, did, did you get, do we, do we need to get the foreign dancers horn? Oh, of course we don't. I suppose, so. yeah, yeah, I mean, there, you know, there's so many different rhythms. Down in Kerry, they play polkas all the time and slides and in Dublin, it's reels. And, you know, up in the north, they play kind of Scottish, uh, you hear that Scottish snap, like the... And that's up in the north a bit as well. So there's just different rhythms all that's over right. the country.